Hello and welcome to therave.com. I'm Linda Kay and I'm here with Germs of Dirge Women. What's going on, Linda? How are you doing? Nothing much. I'm doing good. How are you today? Not too bad. Playing a kick-ass show, so feeling good. It's always good, yes. So let's talk about the show. How does it feel getting a slot here to open up for Five Finger Death Punch tonight? Actually, it's uh, pretty awesome. Like We've always said it's like one of the bands that we thought that we could actually play well with would be Five Finger Death Punch. We're just like, oh, we got to get a tour with them. we got to get a show with them, something like that. And then all of a sudden, nowhere, here we are. Yeah. So it's, it's time to put our money where our mouth is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, the start of our like Halloween collection of shows. I should, I guess, I could say it that way. So um, I already know you're a big fan of Halloween just by looking at your arm. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. I like it a little bit, I'd say, especially that dude right there. Oh yeah, Michael Myers. Oh yeah, Mike Myers, definitely my favorite. <laughs> Sorry, Rob, but I like the original. <laughs> <laughs> and your first show ever was actually here at the Rave back in 2007. Yep, right? downstairs at the Rave Bar. The very first show, I think the guitar player Matt had been in the band for about 20 minutes. Well, not really, but <laughs> about like two or three weeks. You know, I've been there and was like, "This is your test, dude. Play this show. If you suck, you're out. If you're good, you're in." So, cool. yep, back in 2007, I think it was. Yep. And I know you are from, well, close to us here. Close, yeah. Northern Illinois. Oak right. Park, Chicago. All right. Did you come up to Milwaukee a lot growing up and catching shows at the Rave? Actually, no. The first time I ever played here, was, or every time I've ever been to this place, was when I played here with my old band way back in the day when I was like side stage deals. So never knew this place existed, but now I'm glad I do. Oh, <laughs> lots to see here. Yeah. Did you get a chance to really explore the building? The building, no. I've always wanted to go into the uh, haunted pool area. Okay. I've always wanted to check that out, but never had the opportunity. So someday I'd like to. Definitely. Well, maybe today. I mean, it today is. Today could be close. the day. Halloween, close to Halloween. Yep. <laughs> Dangerously close. <laughs> Let's talk about your current full length album, Force Fed Lies. Force Fed Lies, yes. Yes, there we go. That one right there. <laughs> Can you just fill us in about the album? What was that? Can you just fill us in about the album? Ah, oh, the album, you know, was. Uh, Recorded up in uh, Racine, Wisconsin, actually, all the musical instruments and everything that was recorded up in Racine, and then uh, with Chris DeJuric at uh, Bell Sound, actually, yeah, he did uh, Soil and a bunch of other bands, and uh, Nonpoint just recently. Um, Adzel Dope produced the vocals, me, the little guy, and uh, yeah, it's been out since uh, September 1st of 09, and it's been kicking ass and getting fans everywhere we go. Meeting fans everywhere. I mean, do you um, notice just like the different fan bases, like whether you're in Wisconsin or you know? Or yeah, like actually, uh, it depends. Like, you know, our style of metal we thought would you know be generated just from the Chicago scene because Chicago has been kind of synonymous with a certain kind of metal, hard rock, mm -hmm. you know, shit like that. But coming up to Wisconsin, we were surprised. Like, this is actually our home base. Like, we're from Chicago. No offense, mm -hmm. Chicago. You guys, we love you, nothing but love. But Wisconsin is just been incredible like Kenosha mm -hmm. Milwaukee obviously it's been awesome we just played Green Bay for the first time oh. a couple weeks ago too so breaking in nice. <laughs> yeah but across like the US it's just been different kind of fans like we play with Guar we've played with Fear Factory Whitechapel and a lot of different styles of metal mm -hmm. and we've been actually pretty good at bringing them all in because nice. we're very diverse so cool. yeah it's kind of nice I said, I know you have documented some of the tour footage. I did catch, I think mm -hmm. it was part two that's currently up right now on your site of the official oh, Dirge yes. TV. The, the party one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we expect to see some footage from the rave on part three. Yes, <laughs> yes. Actually, it'll be part four. Okay. There is a part three, but no one really cares about part three. That was just whatever I had left okay. <laughs> in the footage. It's like, well, I got nine extra minutes of footage, so I'll just throw a part three up there or whatever. Right. But yes, there will be a part four, including the rave. Nice. All right. Well, what is next for Dirge Within? After this, we're done touring for the rest of the year. We're uh, actually starting to write a new album. Nice. Yes, very excited. When do we expect possible release oh, date? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, in a perfect world, we want to go about July. July is what we're looking at, but you know, it's way too early in the game to even make an assumption like that. But July is what we want. A couple of our other friends' bands have slated times for that as well, so we kind of want to go out at the same time. Nice. Yeah. Well, Germs, thank you very much for joining us here on TheBrave.com. Thank you very much, Linda. All right. Good luck on everything else and to the show tonight. It. Ooh, yes. <laughs> and thank you for watching TheRave.com. Make sure to check out Dirge Within's current release, Force Fed Lies. And we'll see you soon next time on TheRave.com.